Hello everyone and welcome to Bevan's Bricks. I'm Daryl and today we're going to be doing a quick introduction to LEGO Gears. Now, I'm not going to get into gear ratios and all that good stuff. I'm just going to get into the bare bone basics of how you can speed up and slow down your LEGO builds using the LEGO motors. So, let's jump in. The quickest thing I can tell you as far as speeding up and slowing down different machines or whatever you're going to be operating in your lego city is you're going to start with the drive now in this particular example i'm putting a small gear on the drive and a large gear that it is driving next to it now in this particular scenario the large gear is actually going to be going slower than the small gear but what i was trying to show in this example as you can see here and that's why i put the pins on the gear on the first gear and the last gear is by lining them up in this particular manner and fashion, they are going to maintain their actual constant speed throughout. There will be a slight difference between the first gear and the last gear, but that difference in speed is actually due to more the fact of slopping the gears than it is the actual rotations, as the rotations are quite simply the same. Again, because I want to keep this a very simple, basic video. But you saw the speed that they rotated at throughout the entire chain with the first attempt. We didn't, ex it, 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 we didn't increase our speed or slow down our speed in any way. But now what we're going to do, because we're driving our big gear with a small gear, you're going to notice that we are slowing down. And I'm going to show you how drastically we're going to slow down because we're going to step it up the right way now. So now if, if the speed that we're doing is not slow enough for what you want to slow down, what you're going to do is you're going to take another small gear on the face of that big gear, and then you're going to take and put a big gear getting driven by that small gear. So every time you do that, it's going to multiply the amount of speed it slows it down. And again, I'm not going to get into the gear ratios in this video. We will try and do that in another video uh, because I know that will get confusing fast for some people. But let's take this guy now and put him here. So now this is going to be considerably slower than this one. And now if we want to go just a little bit slower, let's put one more tiny gear on the front of this one, like here. And then let's put one more big gear getting driven. Now, I'm trying to stay with small gears because if I was to actually increase this too large, oh my God, you wouldn't believe the, the increase or decrease in speed that will occur. But anyway, right now, this gear should go considerably slower. And again, I'm going to put this little blue peg in it just to give you a reminder of how slow it actually is. Ready? Here we go. So now as you can see, and I'm trying to get this as close as possible for you. So our first gear is 8 teeth, and then we go to a 24, to an 8, to a 24, to an 8, to a 24. And every time we do that, we are changing the speed. So each gear is now rotating at a different velocity. Now here's the, here's, here's the really, really cool part. So now I just showed you how easy it is to actually slow something down. Let's speed it up. So now we're going to put our drive motor on this big guy, and we're going to watch this little guy just go freaking crazy. It's probably going to fly apart. It's going to go so fast. But let's flip the motor over to this end and watch what happens. Okay, same motor set up. It's just now we have the large motor driving down to the small, to the large, to the small, to the large, to the small, to the large. And what you're going to see is this gear is now going to go, just showing you, just trying to do it by hand, this gear is probably going to blow apart. <laughs> so <laughs> just want to prepare you guys in ahead of time that once I turn that motor on, this thing is going to move so quick, it's going to be insane. And if it blows apart, well, I already warned you. But anyway, here we go. And I even put a blue tab here in hopes that you can see how slow this is moving in comparison to this one. But anyway, if it blows apart, and I expect it to, we'll see, but here we go. As you can see, it's so fast, and I cannot believe it didn't actually damage something. 
Uh, I think I'm actually skipping a gear because there's a little bit of slop here. And I really need to have this fastened on the front side to hold everything together um, because it's spinning so fast that it's it's jumping teeth is what's actually happening because you can hear that noise as it's running. But anyway, I'm going to do it one more time just to try and show you again. This is the drive gear. So we're going big to small to big on the same shaft to small to big on the same shaft. And then this one is just to give you the visualization. But one more time. I wish I had an RPM gauge so I could tell you how fast this is going, but I would probably, I'd lay money that this is every bit of about 3,000 RPM once it's traveling from this slow little motor. And anyway, that is my quick introduction to gearing speeds. Uh, again, I didn't want to go into ratios and all that kind of stuff, but again, as you could see in the video, if you start with a small gear and go to a big gear, it's going to slowly decrease the speed. If your drive gear is big and then you go down to small, it's going to increase your speed. And it, it's just a very, very simple rule. Um, just to throw some ratios at you though, I have an eight tooth and a 24 tooth there. So what you simply do is you divide eight by 24 and that gives you a three to one ratio for speed. But it increases over time as you do every single one of those jumps. But again, I just wanted to kind of do a quick introduction and show you. Small to big decreases, big to small increases. And I hope that makes sense. And I will be making more videos to try and explain gearing in much more depth in hopes that everybody can learn a little bit more about gearing ratios for their Lego designs. But anyway, that's all for this video. So as always, thank you for coming to Bevan's Bricks. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share below. And hopefully we'll see you next time on Bevan's Bricks.